Okay, for our next step in this tutorial on making a discipline, we're going to actually uh, um, make some discipline icons. Um, to do that, I'm going to take some existing icons as an example from local English, opening that with the uh, 7-zip. And in, the, uh, in local English, we go into UI, icon, and right here, we can just take the asset touch icons and we'll move them into my mod we'll move them into uh, UI icons and then we're going to take uh, we're going to take a tab as well because we're going to create a new discipline group and I'm just going to take any old tab any old tab will do um, because I'm just going to redo the TGA and the GIMP and that also goes into UI icons oops actually we're going to have to take that and put that in my mod so what we have here is this is a we're going to redo this we're going to rename it Actually, I'm going to remove uh, read only from these here, and I'm going to I'm going to rename this my mod, and I'm going to I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to make two more copies of these these sets here. See, each discipline requires to, to make a new icon for a discipline requires three separate images. So what we need so I'm going to is we're going to make sure that the names are similar. Oh, yeah, I've got to make sure that the names are similar and also remove that here. Ah! No, I don't want to load it. No, I don't want to load it. So this is pretty much how they'll look. They have they all have similar names with uh, an appended L and an appended R at the end of uh, the three images that will be part of our three disciplines that I will be making for the the example of this mod. I'm going to make uh, one for a self casting discipline, one for a target casting discipline. And one for an area The reason I'm taking existing TGA files is uh, so I can have a reference to what the original look is like for a discipline and try to match as close to the original look of a discipline I can. I don't consider myself that much of an artist. I'm more of a programmer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the GIMP.
I'm going to take all of these here. I'm just going to plug them in. Okay. Well, this is our tab icon here. Um, I'm going to take that. Increase its size. And as you can see, a tab icon is a, a 31 by 26 image. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to whitewash that. And I'm going to make a little, it's going to be so deep. I'm going to make a, a line something here to indicate that this is something new so yeah that's so deep so we the tabs pretty easy so all we do is just save that actually uh got to make sure we save as because uh want to make sure that the TGA does not have RLE compression on so we got to make sure that's turned off so there that should be properly formatted now so now we can just get rid of that now I'm going to go in and grab my area icon so a highlighted image is 27 by 32 and it has an alpha channel on a in a circular pattern a non highlighted image for the uh, discipline icon is uh, 32 by 32 so that's 27 by 32 for a highlighted image and for an image that appears in the uh, the big circular block that's currently selected shows the currently selected discipline when you look down in the lower right hand corner of the screen in the GUI you'll see the big the big representation of the currently selected discipline and that's uh that'll be 40 by 48 in size so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create kind of a this is gonna be an area thing so I'm just gonna create like a circle or something around there I'm being lazy it's an area, so I'm just going to represent it with a circle. And this may not be precise, but it should just give the hint. So now I'm just going to go save as here. Make sure to remove RLE compression. And I'm kind of hoping I can just do save, because it might be saved the uh, no RLE compression. I'm going to double check though because I don't trust the GIMP sometimes. Okay, so I'll just do that then. Let's save as. So now I got my other set here. So this is going to be a self-discipline, so I'm just going to um, this is the large one, so I'm just going to represent this as a big giant line or something with some stuff here. So I'm just not I'm not being very artistically minded. So that one's done. And I'm not even checking for alignment per se. There's certain alignments that you may have to consider when you're building your uh, your TGA. So that's going to take the artist touch of trial and error. Last but not least is our target discipline representation. So what am I going to represent for a target? I could just put a stick figure over this. I'll just have a uh, yeah, 
know, I'll have a stick figure or something go There we go. Yeah, so artistic. Yeah. There, we're done with the GIMP. We have our images now. So these have all been modified.